Hi, my friend. I'm an old foodie in China. My name is Old Bread. Today, I continue to offer you secret Chinese family cuisine. Today, I'm going to cook a very typical South Chinese cuisine. We call Chinese style pork mince and egg pudding. Chinese pudding is quite different from Western style pudding. Western style pudding normally is a dessert, uh, uh, sweet, but uh, Chinese pudding is a main course, normally salty. Uh, let us see what kind of material we will use for this pudding. Okay, let's see the material of the Chinese style pudding. First, the main material. Main material is uh, three eggs and 200 gram pork mince. Auxiliary material is uh, ginger and uh, green onion. Uh, you and uh, the condiment include uh, soy sauce and uh, salt. Uh, that's the uh, all material we need. Of course, you have to use uh, two, uh, three, uh, three tools. First, chopsticks to disturb the eggs. Then, uh, knife to cut the green onion. Of course, uh, my legendary apparatus to smash the garlic and uh, uh, ginger. Uh, you can use this tool to make ginger and garlic a very small piece very easily. Okay, let's see the process. First, we deal with uh, the green onion. Uh, we cut the green onion in small piece. Then make the ginger into small piece. Uh, this time I will use my legendary apparatus, the garlic and the ginger smasher. Uh, this name I, I, I get the name. Uh, <clears throat> okay, we just ah okay good 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 okay another uh, another. There are still some big pieces. We need to cut it into small pieces. We disturb the eggs. Add meat into the egg. Then add water uh, into it. The quantity of water according to the volume of the eggs. Uh, you just uh, pour down the, the quantity of the water just equal to the three eggs. Okay, that's good. Continue uh, to deturb it. Then Put the ginger and the green onion into the pudding. Continue to disturb it. The final step is to add salt. <clears throat> and a little soy sauce. Not so much. Okay. To make it a very beautiful brown color. Okay, that's ready. Let's cook it. Chinese food is quite different from any other uh, cold food. Chinese food is a uh, Chinese food is uh, quite different from any other food because besides the. Uh, uh, besides the fry, stir fry, uh, roast, we also use another very common method to cook food. We call this method steaming. Uh, this uh, tr typical steaming cooker. You, you put the water inside the cooker, then put a separator, then place the pudding into a uh, on the separator, put the lead on, 
Then turn on the fire. Okay, 20 minutes. You will enjoy your food. Ah, very good, very good. Okay, we turn, turn off the fire. Take it to the table. Okay, friend, finally, the food is ready. I will enjoy my food. Let me try my pudding. Ah, you need to use the spoon first to take it from uh, the main bowl to your own plate. Uh, the soup. Uh, I like it very much because the soup mixed with the rice is very delicious. I like it very, very much. Of course, you can enjoy this food with two different tools. Uh, for example, uh, I use uh, uh, fork frequently, frequently because uh, I think compared to the chopsticks, uh, fork to eat the, the rice with the pudding is much easier. Although most Chinese people don't know, uh, because uh, most Chinese people uh, during their life they never use the fork. Uh, I'm an exception. Okay, now I can enjoy it. Hmm, good, good, very good. <clears throat> Okay, friend. Mm. I hope you, you can also cook this food uh, next time. Uh, I hope you can put this video on the television to enjoy your pudding too. <clears throat> mm. Mm, quite good pudding. Mm. Okay, uh, I hope our friend already uh, know how to cook it. Uh, so uh, I thank you for your watching. Uh, now, friend, uh, today I finished today's program. I hope our friend can subscribe on my channel because I will list more delicious and easy dish for you. Uh, okay, bye bye, friend. <laughs>